And welcome back guys to some more Final Fantasy VIII. Now, I have decided what I want to do next, and it involves some more side quest type stuff. Um, in fact, I'll show you where we're going to be heading. We're going to be heading to the Shumi village, which is where Norg is probably from. Because there's a little bit of a side quest to do there. Uh, it might take some time, and it involves finding some items and stuff. Basically like a fetch quest. But we're going to give it a go. The only problem is, I don't quite know how to get to Shumi Village. Now, I'm sure we can get, we, we can actually get there with our garden mobile, but it might not be too easy of a task. It might be, it might be dead easy, I'm not too sure. Um, you noticed there was, we could go actually to Travia Garden as well, but there's not much we can do there just yet, so I'm just going to leave it alone. Dee dee dee. So, how's everyone been? It is Sunday, and I do have work tomorrow, so I thought, well, I'll try and get some of this recorded. And maybe, like, I don't know, as many videos as I can possibly do. And just upload them over the course of the week, hopefully. That'd be nice if it worked out that way. Anyway, we need to find a beach of some sort. The only question is, where would one be? If I was a beach, where would I be? Well, near the sea, but that doesn't really narrow it down. Well, the only thing I can do, really, is just keep on scouting the perimeter of this island and see what we can do. We can definitely get there at this point in the game. I'm certain of it. Uh, but this is this is very strange territory, guys. This I have not actually. What am I saying? No, I have passed the point that I quit. In my there we go. There's a beach. Um, in my last let's play, yeah, I've never actually recorded past this point, so this is all new and exciting for me. Lots of forests around as well. Um, I'm pretty sure there's a chocobo forest somewhere. Oh, actually, no, we're not on the right island here, are we? This is where Trabia Garden is. I wonder if there's a way of getting round. Um, bugger. I thought I'd done it then, but... We're going to end up coming across Trabia Garden first here. Yeah. Uh, ah, can I go around here? Or is this where I just came from? Oh, I don't know. We'll give it a go anyway. That's the island that I want to get on, you see. But how do we do that? How do we do it? There must be a way. There must be a way on there. Because the Shumi village is right smack dab in the center. Well, just out of reach at the moment. In fact, I'm about to fly off this uh, this part of land, aren't I? Um, I'm a bit stumped, actually. Is there, there must, I must have just missed where the beach is. Because um, hmm, I've gone round the left side there. I've gone round there. I didn't see any beaches. I should have really scouted this out before I started recording, but... We'll, uh, we'll do some exploring together. We'll go over here, if we can. Oh! <laughs> Dead easy. There we go. I just missed it. This is the beach we want. And Shumi Village should be just round here somewhere. Oh, in fact, there it is! Looks kind of like a spider, doesn't it? Anyway, how do we get off? Oh, I need to... Just back off a little bit. Right, okay. And there's quite a few things that we want to be doing here. There's actually a draw point um, somewhere near the entrance to this place with the Ultima spell, but I think you have to pay to actually use it. And it takes ages to regenerate, so it's not really a viable option. I think this is it. And these are the Shumi people, who are quite hospitable, actually, from what I remember. 
So there's an elevator. There are precious spells at this draw point. You must pay if you wish to draw from it. Well, how much is it, dude? Yes, I do. Uh, are you sure? 5,000 gil in advance. What the heck, we'll do it. Just so I have some ultimate spells. And I think Quistis is going to get it. Oh, but she, yeah, she's... I need to check her magic, actually, but... I'll give it to Squall. Yeah. 15 ultimas. That is a result. I like it. An ultima is a pretty freaking cool spell to junction as well. Um, let me just check Quistis' magic. She must be full. Yeah, she is. No wonder. Hmm. I'm going to have to get rid of some spells. Like blind and confused are pretty pointless. So I should really get rid of them. But how do I do it? I could just exchange. Give it to someone else. Like Irvine. I suppose I can do that. Um, yeah, okay. So at least at least she can draw some more spells now, but Right. Let's use this elevator and let's actually enter the village itself. You know what? Just for a second I had very strong Guado Salam feelings about this place. At least that entrance part of it. But this has gotta be like the poshest elevator I've ever seen. It's got its own seats and TV and holographic imagery. You've been specially permitted here. The elevator will reach the village entrance shortly. Oh, thank you. See, told you. Very hospitable, friendly creatures, these guys. No idea what happened to Norg to make him such a dick, but... Let's explore the village. I'm drinking my Vimto, by the way. Finally got some more in. Look at the green grass and... It kind of reminds me of uh, Hobbit houses. Hobbit holes or whatever you call them. Hello. Hello and welcome. Specialist is surprised they let you in. Usually only merchants are permitted to come into our village. Oh. This is our negotiation table. This is where we exchange minerals with outside traders. You mine for minerals? Of course! You think we built a village 323 meters underground just for fun? <laughs> I like these shoomy people. What's in this house? They seem pretty advanced as well, which is cool. Oh, nice. This music. Hmm. Don't know about you, but I like the rug here. It's a nice, nice rug. Hello there! Can you see me? Hold on a sec. <laughs> Overcome difficulties with effort and ingenuity. And ingenuity. What am I talking? Ingenuity. That's the shoomy way. So, will you be spending the night? Yeah, we'll do it. We'll spend the night. Because we might be able to get ourselves a Timber Maniacs uh, thingy move bob. Oh, look, it's a little Moomba. Can we speak to it? Oh, cool. It's like a music thing. Nice. There's a fish floating around in there. Is there no uh, Timber Maniacs in here? Oh, I didn't see any. Does that mean Laguna never actually made it here? I'm not too sure. Oh, no, I didn't mean to... Sp Sorry, I didn't mean to speak to her again. Right, well, I don't even know if it is a her. Could be a he. I'll come back later. Right. Uh, yeah, okay, we'll leave. Saying that, though, I think there is a Timber Maniac somewhere in here, but I don't think it's at the inn like it usually is. Um, oh, we can't actually go in there. wonder what's in it. Draw point and look, a little Moomba friend. That makes his little squeaky noise. We can't actually get past him. 
I want to get to that draw point, Mr. Moomba. Can you please, uh... Can you... Oh, we just got paid, though. We just made the uh, money we spent on the Ultima spell back. Five grand, though. That's not bad, really, for the Ultima spell. Especially if you get 15 of them. Little frog on the rock there. Uh... Let's have a look in here. Aha! Told you there was a Timber Maniac somewhere. So I'll have to check the panel out when we get back to the garden at some point. Who's this guy? It's the Artisan. You're an outsider. Most of us here don't have a good impression of the outside world. But Artisan knows there are some good things about it. Once Artisan stopped by a hopelessly foul wasteland and met with a wonderful group of people called Artisans. We have the same souls, the Artisans and the Shumis. That alone, the fact that there are people like them in the outside world, makes your world worthy. Oh, thanks. Since then, the Artisans have had a major influence on my work. Take a look at this, for example. Oh, look, it's a car. It's a model car. Very nice. Take a look at this, for example. Oh, another one. Hey, that's like our garden cars, that, isn't it? Any more? Huh, <laughs> and it's one of the buses from Delling City. You said that you were an artisan, right? That is a great honour. Hmm, okay. Strange little guy. I mean, it's kind of nice that there's no music here and you can hear all the birds and stuff, but I I do kind of miss the music. <laughs> ah, there we go, a bit of music. Let's see, who are these guys? Busy, busy, busy! Do, 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 do. Ah, could this actually be where the side quest is actually started? I think it is. Looks like Laguna. It does, doesn't it? Yeah, I didn't even realise that. You know Master Laguna? Sort of, yeah. Long ago, a Moomba found this man lying near our village, covered with blood, and carried him to our village. Oh. It appeared that he had slipped and fallen off a cliff. Ah. Oh, sorry, I burped then. <laughs> If you wish to know more about Master Laguna, you should go talk to the Elder. Sculptor insists that you go speak to him. Sculptor is sure it will please the Elder. Okay. Where is the Elder? Oh, thanks, man. Ah, that was the house we couldn't get past. I see. The Moomba was in the way. Raze? Moomba is one of the many final forms that the Shumis take. Wow, so... Moombas are actually Shumis that have evolved? This isn't even my final form. It's a strange uh, state of affairs, that. What is in our... You become what is in your heart. How does that work? Often those who fail to become honourable elders turn into Moombas. Oh. Wow, no, I didn't know that. How do you communicate if you become a beast? Beasts? How dare you call them beasts? Yeah, Quist is very, very nice there. Well done. Offend them. Why not? Beasts? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Did you not, not see their noble features? Gem-like eyes, bright red hair, spectacular hair, adorable cries. Mighty hands, proud postures. Everything about them is great. Okay, okay, we get it. Moombas are awesome. Now, I would have thought that'd be something that Zell would have said, not Quistus, but okay. What's this draw point? Firaga. Give that to Quistus. Three? That's pathetic. I kind of like the atmosphere, it's relaxing, you know? Yeah. Not too bad. Right, let's go speak to the Elder. 
I think there is a lot of to and and fro in this place. A lot of backtracking, perhaps. I've not done this in so long, you see, it's hard to remember, but... I think it'll involve... No, I don't want to go in there. I think it involves finding different gems or something. There he is. Yeah, I do like Moombas. They are pretty good. And they sound like Sweep. Now that is one Eldrin looking dude. And I love that fish tank. Yeah, talk about him if you want. It was about 17 years ago when we found him injured. He was on his way to Esthar. Esthar, I can never say that. A girl named Alone who had been abducted by Esthar soldiers. He stayed here for a short while until his injuries healed. During his stay, he tried to reach... reach... Teach Moomba how to speak. Why? He told me that he felt sorry for the Moombas because they don't know... No, uh, God, I, I don't know any words. I can't freaking talk. They don't know any words. He said that... Wo uh, oh, <laughs> I was going to say wounds. Words are useful and precious. Well, he would do. He's a writer. Perhaps we don't need words either. Well, I don't know. They're pretty useful. His communication skills were horrible. <laughs> But we still understood what he desperately wanted to say, how eager he was to save alone. His eyes, more than his words, told us this. That's all I have to say. Why are you building a statue of him? That something is the power to attract people. We still don't know what it is, so we decided to build a statue of him. Hmm. That bumbling clown. I'd better not... No, don't say anything, Squall. And that's my alarm going off in the background again. Please excuse my humble abode. This is not... I mean, you got a TV there. you got a shitload of fish tanks. What more do you need? Attendant. You all have very strange names. It's basically your profession, isn't it? Like, I, in real life, I would be admin bitch, or something. We would like to present you with a gift since you came all this way. Well, that's awesome. Oh, but, uh, work to earn anything, this is our way. I have an idea. Please assist my attendants in the workshop so that I can present you with a gift. Right, this is where it starts, this little side quest. Yeah, okay. I'll help you finish it. Oh, please alarm. Please stop beeping. Thank you. It did actually stop as soon as I said that. Alright, what's this draw point? Blizzaga. Give that to Squall. Oh, we only got four.